Every time objects start moving or stop from moving, force is responsible. You meet forces all the time. Forces press on you and you use them to press on objects. Force constantly affects us. You can feel it when you walk on a windy day. The force of the wind pushes against you. When you ride in a car, a force pushes you against the seat when the car turns on a curve. What is force? Have you ever played with a marble? Marbles can move if you give them a push. When a marble hits another marble, the other marble changes its position. A force is a push or pulls that starts, stops, or changes the direction of an object. It is the action exerted by a body on another, which is manifested in its motion. In Figure 6.2, the force exerted by the person riding in a bike caused the bicycle to change its direction and motion. In Figure 6.4, the force of the rolling bowling ball moves the wooden pins which are at rest. Effects of force on objects Number 1. Force can transfer energy to an object to make it move. An object at rest will move when you apply force on it. A man applies force to lift the handle of push cart and applies force to push the cart. Number 2. Force can stop a moving object. Force is needed to stop a moving object. The driver of vehicle in figure 6.6 .6 steps on the brake to stop the car. By applying force to the brakes, the vehicle could stop. Another example is when a driver in a car suddenly sees a dog crossing on a street. He or she immediately applies force on the brake to stop the car. Number 3. Force can change the speed of a moving object. Force can slow down or speed up a moving object. When a person pushing the push cart reaches the end of the lane, he or she applies force to slow down the speed. Similarly, the driver of the car will step on the brake as he approaches the stoplight. Number 4. Force can change the size and shape of an object. You exert force when you tear a paper, stretch a rubber band, and squeeze a rubber ball. When you tear, press, stretch, and squeeze an object, you change the size and shape of it. Force changes the size and shape of an object. Number 5. Force can change the position or direction of movement of an object. Have you seen a flag being raised? Force changes the direction of the flag. When the rope is pulled, the flag raises. Force changes the direction of a moving object. As you ride a bicycle and move into a curve, you will have to exert force to change the direction of the bicycle. Similarly, the driver exerts force on the steering wheel when he or she decides to change direction or turn left or right on the road. In your tug of war, the force acting on the rope has caused the rope to move from left to right and right to left. Forces are exerted by the members of each team to make the rope move. The force can cause change in the direction of the rope. When the force exerted by each team is equal, the rope is not moving. However, when one team exerts more force, the rope moves in the direction of the team with a greater force. The object is in motion when the force exerted on it is not equal. Kinds of Forces People that travel in the outer space experience many kinds of forces. These forces also exist around us on Earth. These forces are gravitational, magnetic, electric, and strong and weak nuclear force. The four forces are called universal forces. First, 
gravitational force. Gravitational force is a force that pulls objects toward one another. It is the universal force that affects the bigger and the smaller object. The strength of gravitational force depends on the amount of mass in an object and the distance between objects. If the mass of both objects is very small, the gravitational force between them is extremely small. Gravitational force is also affected by distance. When objects are closer together, the gravitational force is greater. But as the distance increases, the gravitational force decreases. Second, magnetic force. Magnetic force is a force that causes objects to attract or repel each other. It is the force shown when magnets of iron are attracted to each other. For magnets, unlike poles attract, like poles repel. Magnetic force is also the force of attraction or repulsion that occurs between electrically charged particles. The magnetic force between two moving charged particles is the effect exerted by a magnetic field created by the other. Third, electric force. Electric force is the force that exists between charged particles. Objects with different charges attract each other, and objects with the same charge repel each other. Electric force is much stronger than gravitational force. Electric force causes some objects to come together and others to stay apart. It holds particles together that make up a matter. Fourth, nuclear force. Nuclear force is the force that holds the particles in the nucleus together. One type of nuclear force is the strong force. The strong nuclear force holds the nuclear particles together by holding the quarks together. Quarks are smaller particles in neutrons and protons. The strong force exists in very short distances. When this strong nuclear force breaks, it releases a great amount of energy that can produce electricity or even nuclear explosion. Weak nuclear force is the force that holds particles within protons and neutrons together. In neutron, the weak force is easily overcome. When neutrons decay, they form a new atom. Nuclei that decay in this way are called radioactive. Fifth, frictional force. Friction opposes motion. It causes the object that moves along a surface to slow down and eventually stop. Frictional force can be observed when you move a table or chair without wheels. It takes greater effort to move them because of friction between the foot of the furniture and the floor. Frictional force also affects falling objects. When you drop a coin and a feather at the same time, both objects yield to gravity. However, the coin reached the ground first because air friction affects the feather. When objects move through air, the motion is opposed by friction. Friction is a force that opposes motion between two surfaces touching each other. Friction works on the surface of feather. Air friction affects the motion of falling objects by acting against the force of gravity. Sixth, centrifugal and centripetal force. Have you seen motorcycle rounds in a rotunda or in a racetrack? Vehicles can move in a circular motion because of two forces, centripetal and centrifugal. Centripetal force is a force that pulls an object inward, while centrifugal force is an outward force that pulls an object away from the center. When a motorcycle racer turns at a sharp curved road, two forces are acting on it. There is an outward force pulling the motorcycle. This force is a centrifugal force. To balance this outward force, the racer leans his motorcycle and his body toward the center. 
This inward force is called the centripetal force. Centripetal force pulls the object toward the center. When the centrifugal force and centripetal force are balanced, they keep the objects moving in a circular motion. Life lesson. Force can start or stop an object to move. Similarly, humans have a driving force to do and achieve his or her goal. One should not stop doing but instead be motivated to move and continue working to achieve goals in spite of friction or difficulties in life. Thank you.